Hey guys, welcome back to R80 FIFA and I hope all of you are doing well. This is your match review for Chelsea 1, West Ham 0. Before we get into the video guys, please leave a like if you enjoy and subscribe to the channel for more Chelsea content. Nice game, what a result. This is a very crucial result for our season. I mean, West Ham were leveled on points with us. Both of us have 55 points going into this game. Chelsea were inside the top four ahead of West Ham only on away goals. No. I'm in Champions League mood. I'm saying away goals, sorry. Goal difference. Chelsea were ahead of West Ham only on goal difference. And it was important that we win this game. And super important that we not lose. That we don't lose this game and we keep the momentum going to push for top four this season. And we do exactly that. 1-0 win over West Ham. Solid result. Clean sheet. And this is going well. Unbelievable so far, our season. How Tuchel has just turned around our form. We were, we, we were going like this in December. And now we are going like this. Let's go, man. I mean, we just need to keep up this form, and I don't think there's a chance that we can lose to Real Madrid if we play the way we did against West Ham. Now, one no one. Let's talk about the game. So, Timo Werner scores. Yes, we won by a Timo Werner goal. I mean, that's what we all wanted when he paid, when Chelsea paid about 50 million for him in the summer. It didn't happen so far. It has happened now. Chilwell crosses it in, Wana side foots it into the net. Now, there had been some misses from Timo Vana, but I, I, I'm sure this goal should be enough to maybe motivate him and make him confident for the game against Real next, next week. Or well, not next week, it's in three days, it's on Tuesday. And overall, this was a great game. I feel defensively we were very organized. L let's talk about the lineup. So, it was Mendy in goal. 3-4-2-1 like usual. Christensen, Thiago Silva and Rudiger in defence. And Kante and Jorginho in midfield. Aspie played right wing back. And Chilwell played left wing back. And it was... What was it? Uh, it was Mount, Pulisic and Timo Werner up top. Now, the lineup that made all of us raise our eyebrows... Aspie at right wing back, wing back. Sorry. So I I was I was okay because Aspie used to play right wing back, and we saw exactly that kind of a display, like we saw under Antonio Conte, under I think Maurizio Sarri when he used to play Aspie at right back. Aspie is good in the full back position, you know, crossing it in, distributing the ball, passing, and Tuchel later in his interview explained that. West Ham are very good at set pieces. That's been one of their most important sources for goals this season, set pieces. So Aspie is kind of short and Christensen is really tall. So Tuchel wanted three tall centre-backs in the box for set pieces. And well, that did the job. There were a few free kicks where I was like, oh, can they score? Can they score? But no, our defence was great. And yes, the height was a really big advantage. Tuchel did. And it did help us win the game. Aspie was kind of outpaced by Ryan Fredericks on that side. Sometimes Ryan Fredericks would just get in behind Aspie and he was caught there. But Aspie did make up and, well, it did, it did work out in the end. So, I'm not going to complain. And in terms of the attack, I think first half, we could have played a bit better. We, we were creating chances, but we weren't really finishing it off. We were, we were creating some really decent chances, but there were loads of missed chances. I remember from Werner, Mount crosses it in really early on in the game, Werner just skies it. And there was a save as well from Lucas Fabianski when Pulisic just shoots it in and Fabianski just saves it. I mean, it was straight at the keeper, but sometimes, you know, you expect a goal in that situation. You were heading into a half time. I thought maybe like the Man City game, you know, a half time, Tuchel would give some instructions, change it up a little bit, then we would come into half time and come into the second half, sorry, and score a goal. But no, as soon as I think that, within one minute, I see Polisic 
running up to the to where the West Ham go, gives it to Chua. Chua gives it to Timo Werner. Timo Werner shoots and it's in. What a goal, man! I I I literally screamed on top of my lungs. I was so excited to see Timo Werner score a goal, and that's what we expect from him, man. That's why we signed him for some 50 million pounds in the summer. This is what we expected when we signed Timo Werner. And who knows, maybe it's just he took time to settle in. Who knows, maybe next season he'll score 20 goals in the Prem. I mean, you never know. And I think Mount was brilliant. I mean, Mount, I think this guy deserves our player of the season. He has just been really good overall. I remember in the second half, there was a chance. Mount takes the shot. It was, it was such a beautiful shot. He was going straight into the top right corner, but Fabianski the say, Round of applause, man. Fabianski. That, that, that was a brilliant display from Fabianski. Round of applause. And especially that save. That, that, that was brilliant. I mean, he dived in completely top corner. I thought that was going in, but Fabianski had other ideas. He managed to save the shot, and... Fabianski almost kept West Ham in the game till the last moment because it was, it was only one goal lead, you know? one one concentration lapse, one slip up, and West Ham are through and they score. But we didn't let that happen. Our defense was solid. West Ham had good chances, but in terms of goal scoring chances, they didn't trouble Mendy very much. I remember there was this one shot where Lingard he shoots it from outside the box, but it just swerves and goes outside the box. And in the first half, there was a VAR check. Now, I th this was the exact free kick I was talking about. Or was it? it? It was a free kick. Free kick or corner, I'm not sure. I think it was a free kick. So, free kick comes in. Someone from West Ham heads it. Aspi is there, right? It, it hits him around here. And it just goes beside Mendy. But I think he gets a touch on it. Or it just it's a miss. It goes beside the post and then there's a long VAR check for whether this was a hand or not and fortunately the referee didn't give it as a handball and there was no penalty so he played on I mean we played good you know there were chances where we thought West Ham could score but we controlled the play very well and we didn't let them score now you might think that Chelsea only scored one goal it, it was really lucky that West Ham didn't score, but I don't call this luck. If this was under Lampard, I might have. But under Tuchel, this is the defensive play that Chelsea can perform. The defensive ability that Chelsea have as a team to not concede for how many games is that now? I can't remember the last time we conceded a goal, apart from West Brom, of course. I don't think we've conceded ever since that day. And Tuchel has revolutionized our defense. I, th I think we have the best defense in the league. I'm not sure, I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure we have the best defense in the league. And what does this mean for the Premier League table? So Chelsea are on 58 points and fourth. Leicester are on 59 and West Ham are on 55. Liverpool are on 54 because they drew 1-1 against Leeds. Tottenham are on 53 and Everton are on 49 with a game in hand. So you can start to maybe see a points gap being formed, you know, between Chelsea, Leicester and West Ham, Liverpool, Spurs. So you can see the formation of the top four. And my thoughts on the European Super League and everything, it was just like almost everyone else. I mean, though it might be something new, it might be something different. I mean, me as a fan thinking that I'm not ever going to see Chelsea lift the Premier League trophy, it was heartbreaking. It was really sad. I'm so happy it's all over. And since it was all over, there was Champions League next season for which we had to qualify, but for which we needed to win this game, and we did exactly that. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe to R8C FIFA for more Chelsea videos. I'll see you later. Goodbye.